What's going on YouTube? Kit. So let's hop in right into this story. You guys have already seen this. I'm sure a lot of you seen this whole thing with the graduation of the girl um, going off and snatching the microphone. We're going to see both sides of the story because I think that's very important because this is how I'll give my opinion. Here we go. What happened was um, I was walking on and we had to announce our names and say our name before we get on the stage. So I was saying my name and she literally, I was, my name is long. My name, obviously, I have like three syllables in my name. I'm not going to say exactly my name right now, but okay, just so you get a point. So I didn't even finish getting to say my name. And then... The people that went before me and everything, they all got to say their name, their major, and even extras. And me and another girl noticed that she was putting the mic, she was pulling the mic down super fast for some black people. I don't want to be that person, but that was the tea. So, I mean, I just couldn't let her, I just couldn't let that happen because I just feel like I worked so hard to graduate and went through so much shit to graduate that I just felt like I had to reclaim my moment. I'm sorry. Like, I'm not a problematic person. I don't want to ruin no one's day. I don't want to violate anybody. But that's what she did. She didn't even let me finish speaking. She put the mic down, cut me off. And that was the only time I was able to speak. So I just feel like that wasn't right. Okay, so your moment was to say um, the reason was is because black people weren't getting enough shine. Um, you know, anytime I hear that, I'm sorry, the first thing I have to think about is I don't believe you. You know, I, I don't. Because once people start bringing race into it, I've always believed that's a cop out. Um, you think y'all all noticed it that she was pulling the mic away from black people? You saw some of the reactions in the crowd. If you didn't see it, go back and watch. It, it didn't look like everybody were like, yes! It, you heard one person say, congratulations. Everybody else was looking like, well, what's going on? Well, what's the problem? And so I don't believe the story. And then she says at the very end, nobody attended my graduation. I just have to say, based off your attitude and based off what I just heard, and the fact that you went for the race thing and you're wearing an African necklace, I'm just thinking to myself, you sound like a person who seems like they would want to be a victim no matter what. Maybe you were trying to say your full name. Maybe she possibly pulled it down. But once again, we're going to hear another part of the story and see how it's going. But, but my initial reaction right now, not a black or white thing, okay? Y'all know I don't care if she's black, white. I call out anybody and everybody, no matter what the color. When I see somebody acting a fool, they act a fool. I've acted a fool in my life, and I've been called out on it. So we should be able to call each other out on such things. What I saw right there was something that I thought was foolish. Even if you felt you were wrong, that is not the way to go about stuff. You don't do it like that. And then to throw the microphone on the ground. See, some people really believe that they are the main character. Once again, I have to go back to that. They think throwing the mic down. They think it feels like what it does in the movies when you throw it down and the music starts playing in the background and you feel so. But really, you just you see how these things look when there's no music, there's no crowd, there's no nothing. You throw the mic down and people are just like. OK. <laughs> you just look goofy it's supposed to be your day of graduation and she said she didn't get her moment in front of who you said nobody came to see you so who's the moment for people who don't know who you are let alone your name but you want to feel great because you graduated maybe because you, maybe you had a hard life maybe because you're a black woman strong independent who knows but the point is is nobody was there for you why are you making it about you then? If nobody was even there for you. Say your name, move on about life. And if she pulls it down early, just be like, oh, okay, cool, it's whatever. You know, <laughs> nobody knows who I am anyway. And if it was me, if I had a super long name, my name was, um, I don't know, what would be a long name? If my name was T uh, Ronald Tunnel Take On, okay? If my name was Ronald Tunnel Take On, 
I would say, uh, my name's Rene. Appreciate it. Done. You know, I know we have a lot of people to get through. All right, so we're going to see the other side of the story and to keep it moving. All right, so let me pull this up right quick, guys. No, no, no. So we're, let's look at the background first and then we'll see. Okay. So if y'all can't read that, it says, Girl, bye. I believe y'all be foolish. Y'all be the foolish ones while y'all while they play right in y'all face. Ain't gonna speak on that though. So here we go. John Booth, Amy Gomez, Angelica Chiara Villar, Gina Abulero, Amoya Doily, Cassandra Robinson, Jenna Wellington, Big Up Jamaica. Woo! So, based off of that, what we just saw, let's see that one more time. Let's see all the black girls. I'm gonna, well, let's count them. <laughs> John Booth, Amy Gomez, okay, Angelica Chiara um, Villar, I see two so far. Gina Abulero, Amoya Doily, Cassandra Robinson, Jenna Wellington, Big Up Jamaica. Woo! She said a whole thing. Big Up Jamaica. Big Up Jamaica. I mean, what? Seems like everything was going fine there. I need to center myself. My camera moves depending on which um, scene I have it in. All right, so let's check out the uh, next video. Shout out to C.O. Better known as Candace Owens. A lot of people put this video up, but this is the one I saw first, so. So, here's my story time. Basically, what happened was... Basically, that's kind of the furthest from the truth. Graduation went like this. I, I was in the graduation. I graduated. My graduation. Basically, there was two sections, section A and section B, and within those two sections, there was two, two long lines, and we were told to say our names when we approached the lady um, in the video um, to say our names and the like. But she didn't know any of our names to know whether or not it was long, short, um, how many syllables, X, Y, Z. She didn't know. To, Hold it a certain way, how long, none of that. So basically, there was people who did say other things extra of, other than their names. And, but they weren't just one race. It was, it was there was a lot of people of all races um, saying other things other than their race. But we wasn't told to say our major, any of that. Um, we were just really told to say our first and last name. I also have said uh, uh, things extra um, than my first and last name. I said, I love my mama. And some girl before me who was also um, a chocolate girl uh, said, big up Jamaica. Um, so I don't see where this, because we're black and all the other things that's coming into play. Um, I also believe that she did that because it was a little white old lady. If it wasn't anybody else, I don't believe she would have done that. She would have took her L and would have walked. I mean, that was the case. That really happened. Um, also, the mic was never handed to us for it to get snatched. The lady was going back and forth to each line because remember there was two lines with two, um, with a person and going back and forth, going to each person like this um, to say their names. So it wasn't no pause for somebody to hold the mic to say their name to take it back or anything so she went her moment she got her moment that's what she was looking for a moment um but i would say that graduation was not the best graduation it wasn't a proper graduation it didn't look like a great graduation i will say that uh that's based off what i saw um it didn't look like a great graduation um but at the same time i want to say this Though it was not a great graduation, it's just a graduation. I think some people sometimes put too much stock into this whole graduating and doing across stage. I understand a lot of us work hard, maybe to graduate and all these kind of things um, and get to walk across stage. But you got to understand that, first of all, there's many people in that graduation. OK, so you're not the only one. So respect every other people's times and understand you can do all the gloating and getting your name out. You can do that at the party afterwards. You can do that afterwards because the beautiful thing about life. It's not everything always goes perfect. I was at graduations. I've been to graduations. I was part of graduations. 
I've been part of really big moments in my life. Do you think every one of them went well? Have you had everything always go well for you? How did you react? Have you ever had something happen that you've been waiting every all day for and it finally comes to that moment and it doesn't work out for you? Sometimes we've reacted bad. <laughs> so I'm not going to kill this girl for reacting bad, okay? Because it does happen. Now she she got to take her L and she could she could just come out, take accountability, but she's not ready to do that. So she came out and set the blacks up. Maybe one day she'll look back on this and realize what she did was wrong. Okay, we we all do stupid stuff like this. That doesn't mean I'm taking anything away from her. What she did was wrong, absolutely wrong. She looked goofy. She looked like a clown. Uh, but I'm also saying that we all end up looking like clowns and looking goofy at some point in our lives. But we do need to take that accountability. But I just one thing I just can't stand. I keep hearing is this whole thing that we're all against black people and black women, especially. I hear black guys say it every now and then, but I hear black women say something about their race all the time because you know why I know that? Because black women say that towards us black men, okay? And so it's just, to me, it's just every time I see this kind of stuff, I just get tired of hearing about color. Just take responsibility for your actions. If that had been a white woman who did that, I would have the same exact reaction. Who cares if you're black? You know, you make it more about black being black than anything. We saw another black sister who got on here who didn't have any problems. She stood up and said, look, that's not what happened. Here's the truth. No, was the graduation great? No. But, you know, there was plenty of black. She defended the white woman, right? So let's just take the race out of it. Somebody did something bad, lost their temper for some reason. Maybe they were upset because nobody showed up. Maybe they already have a bad attitude and they look, they look young. So maybe they got some time to put it together and they realize this was a mistake. And one day they'll look back on it and go, wow, that was goofy. That was stupid. And we can move on. So that's my feelings on it. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Um, I mean, obviously she can come back from this, but I do want to say this last thing. The thing about TikTok, and this is to me, this is the difference between YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram. Instagram basically pictures, and we know Instagram was going crazy with that whole um, <laughs> that pedo ring that they were doing. Um, Instagram has got its flaws for sure. YouTube has its flaws, but my thing about TikTok is when you blow up on YouTube, YouTube you have to maintain it, and you don't see a whole lot of people blow up in a video. And then still do goofy stuff to try to maintain it. Because on YouTube, that it just doesn't work. It won't work. Because you're more likely to blow up on TikTok than YouTube. YouTube, you kind of have to have a catchy title, catchy thumbnail. And you have to catch people's attention immediately. On TikTok, you got one minute. And people are, are willing to watch you for a minute. So people are quick to blow up on TikTok. And I think people really want to get their shine all the time. Now, I don't know if that's what this girl was doing. Because it looked like she did it. And I don't know if she had somebody filming because she had nobody there. But what it sounded like is she, I don't think she was trying to get her moment on TikTok because she wasn't the one filming, unless she had already premeditated that she was going to do that. So I don't think that was the point. But if it was, I just want you guys to be careful of always trying to catch your five minutes of fame. Once again, I think we've all done it more now in the TikTok age. We always try to catch that lightning in a bottle. Guys, quit that because you're going to end up getting yourself in trouble and you're going to end up developing an attitude of entitlement. Just be careful. If you want to be famous on social media, you really want to build it, build it the right way by having a skill and doing things that people like. Don't try to go for millions and millions of viral moments, okay? Love you guys. Let me know what y'all think. I'll see you later. Peace.